Hi there! Welcome to another episode of the Bebo Project. Today, we are going to share some common mistakes students do in writing related literature and citing references. The review of related literature, also known as RRL, is an important part of the research paper. However, sometimes, researchers fail to write the RRL properly, leading to problems in the manuscript. The following are the common mistakes students do in writing the RRL. To avoid making such mistakes, sit back and learn from this video. First, there is no harmony among the ideas in the literature review. There are times when students tend to put together ideas coming from journals and books without proper sequence. Sometimes, ideas are not even connected to one another. They just include certain paragraphs to make the literature part of the study appear lengthy and well-supported. Another common mistake of the students in writing the RRL is they forget to paraphrase the sentence they lifted from the source. This may lead to plagiarism and is punishable by law. Third is lack of reputable resources. There are times when students fail to provide sources that are reputable or well-reviewed by professionals. There are cases where they get it from Wikipedia, personal blog or vlogs, or predatory journals. Number four, inciting websites, they include the whole URL. There are instances when students even copy and type the entire URL of the website where they got the information from. This should not be the case. You still need to state the author and include other relevant data needed for publishing online content. Next, inconsistency in citing sources. Not citing the author or organization who published the manuscript is a big problem. But citing the authors in a single manuscript differently is also not acceptable. If you are following APA, do the APA format. If you are following or doing MLA, you have to follow the prescribed rules for writing MLA. Number six, getting information from very old sources. It is the rule of the thumb that researchers get references which are published recently, pretty much like five to 10 years, but five years is the most acceptable. However, there are those materials that went into the circulation 20 years before and some writers still use them. In considering the RRL, that is a no-no. Last but not the least, lack of complete references. Maybe at the end of the writing process, you are very excited and proud that you have completed your paper. But because of so much happiness, you might forget some details and that could be the name of the book, name of the journal, where you got the information from. Just please don't do that, okay? So there you go. Those are the common mistakes that most researchers commit when writing the related studies. Now, be careful not to do them so that your paper will be free of problems. Once again, this is Teacher Alfred for another episode of the Bebo Project. Goodbye!